The next thing we wanted to talk about is how sound can affect our intention, how sound can affect how we're feeling, our will, our direction, our physiology. Mm -hmm. Sound does a lot, and sound is one of the main tools that we both use in helping to guide others and direct, just direct our intentions. So what are, what are some ways that we use music and, and sounds in our lives to direct our intention? We use music for a lot of things. So a lot of people might use music at the gym. Typically more upbeat music. Get our blood flowing and get more pumped up. Lullabies are a good example also. More soothing music to help someone fall asleep or to soothe someone. And you mentioned earlier that you can use sounds to match how you're feeling and then change those to kind of achieve a, a goal. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes we'll choose music to match how we're feeling or what we want to feel. So sometimes if we're feeling sad we may want to listen to sad music or completely avoid sad music and listen to something happy to maybe cheer you up. A good example is maybe you're feeling tired and you need to get a lot of things done so you want to put something on to wake you up. So that's a few ways that music and sounds can be used and are used in our lives in ways that we might not even notice it. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching and we hope you'll join us for the next topic. Vocal exercises.